Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to check the power consumption of a CPU. See, I say it again, it's CPU, not your whole computer. You can calculate the power consumed by your whole computer in Cooler Master Power Calculator. I will show you how. Yeah, this one. This site provides you ample amount of information. Uh, actually, you can add all this, all this data, and at last, when you click calculate, you will get the desired, I mean the recommend power setting voltage. Uh, sorry, wattage, and also the minimum power supply that is required for your PC. Uh, this will very much help you to find the power consumed by a processor, the whole computer, I mean, okay. Uh, it will also help you in buying, a, when you are trying to buy a power supply, I mean the SMPS. So, what I am trying to show here is, I want to show you how much power does your particular CPU alone consumes. See, you see here, this is your computer. You see here, uh, these are the components that are connected. This is my GTX 960. Okay, so if you click here, you can see the power the GPU is attaining here 24.75 percentage under this much of load. Okay, this much load, uh, this much. The load is very, very minimal. The fans are running at 689 RPM, which is pretty much low because I am not using the computer for any purpose at all. I'm just recording this video. So this is for checking your graphic card. Let me show the power. No. Only temperature is shown for your hard disk. Okay. You can check your this is CPU ID hardware monitor. Using this and uh, there is one another which I don't uh, no I don't have that. Uh, there is one another which can do the same but this is pretty much a sleek software it's very portable you can put it on any machine and run it so when you click here there are many things that you can see here CPU utilization it's maximum 50% becomes a recording a video and also processing it and the power mm. there we go Actually voltage is different and power is different. Voltage comes very handy to, to check when you are overclocking your processor. Right now voltage is not required because I am making a video to check the power consumed by your processor alone. So here the package you see this is the value that is this is the current value this is the minimum value uh, of this session this is 19.51 so you can clear it also. Uh, where is it? Uh, clear minimum and maximum. I have cleared it and once again it has cleared. See the temperature arises here and okay it has hit 11.45. The minimum is 4.6 or 4.50. It's it's fluctuating a lot. <laughs> See your power depends and also relies on your settings. Let me show you that also. Power settings that comes along with your windows while you are watching a movie or while you are charging your laptop you can put your laptop in power saver mode so that it's like an aeroplane mode for laptop uh, aeroplane mode in the sense it requires very less power but still your Wi-Fi and your bluetooth will be operating only under your actions i'm just comparing the power here not the functions if you want to play a movie or mm, put some music uh, use only less amount of power in your PC put it on balanced mode okay if you want high full performance like your video recording right now high performance since I have an SSD so it optimizes itself here I prefer Samsung high performance mode because it it optimizes it is optimized already so I don't have to tinker with the other settings I can change the plan settings right now it's never I don't want my display to turn off I don't want my computer to go to sleep so 
right now it's a Samsung high performance you can see the fluctuating power consumed by the processor when you put this let's see for power saver let's clear this okay see the power see the maximum power attained let's fluctuate the power a little let's put it up a notch okay I am doing all this, I am powering up the processes and threads in power saver mode. So the maximum it has hit is 8.33, minimum it has 4.57. What I did has, I did the normal computation process in power saver mode. I have saved a lot of power, 8.33. So now I want to do it, this process again. See, it's getting stuck actually because it's it's consuming very low power right now okay now I will do the same and you can see the okay now balanced okay uh, the power has hit to 11 from 8.33 to 11.09 okay I will do the same thread process let's see how how much edge that this one hits it's pretty smooth right now compared to the power saver mode it has already loaded that's quite a good good thing okay 24.94 I will write it down for you guys in power saver mode your power consumed was 8.33 in balanced mode it has consumed uh, 24 point oh, 27.34 watts these are watts let's see in high performance high performance for me is absolute absolutely same like SSD optimized one let's see how much it goes Samsung high performance let's clear this I'm gonna do the thing again it's pretty smooth right now okay I'm gonna run some processes that is the thread it has loaded 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 okay everything is loaded 26.71 so that is the maximum it has hit 26.71 so if you are just you can you can save a lot of power in these things you can reduce your current bill a lot in these things you can see that a normal web browsing process I have compared it in three different power modes that is come that comes with your windows and also you can see the power this is CPU alone CPU I mean the processor alone not your whole rig <coughs> uh, to be honest the power saver mode pretty uh, pretty much does the thing it performs the job that you need but the balanced mode is quite in middle it's, it's not that efficient high performance is better than balanced mode so balanced mode I wouldn't recommend at all either put your PC in high performance or I'll put your power saver mode if you are browsing browsing or uh, playing a movie or music uh, this power saver mode is good if you are gaming or else uh, video rendering or else what to say any high any high-end software like CAD or uh, or else like Maya these softwares will pretty much run very good and like butter smooth on high performance mode actually this is my first video um, first video that I'm making with my commentary on so my English will, will be very 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 bad it's like worse to hell so bear with me I'm sorry for my troubled English I hope you understand please ask any doubts in the comment section below happy to help